it's December and you might be going ho, 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 or you might be going oh, 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 because you don't have any gift spot and you sure don't have them wrapped. Hi, I'm Lorraine Brock, a professional organizer here in the Dallas area. And this month, I want to help you get your Christmas wrapped in under the tree and a few other tips for getting organized this Christmas as well. As you can see behind me, I have some brown bags that I just labeled with family names. And what I've done, all the stock and stuffers that I have saved up over the previous year on clearance and finding things that uh, are low cost, I've kept them in my gift closet. And so now I've made every family member a bag and I'm organizing all those stock and stuffers into the person they are going to. That way I can easily see do I have enough for each person in their stocking. Now, what I've done is I find things all year long that are on clearance or inexpensive. These are just nibble individual bags of pretzels that I found after Halloween this year. So think about doing that all year next year, finding little bitty things that after Christmas and after the seasons that you can purchase and save money on. This is a box that we just got out on our Christmas decorations, and this is my gift wrapping box. Nothing fancy, just a brown cardboard, cardboard box. Now, what's in it is very organized. For example, I have all my gift bags that I purchased last year, and even the ones that I received that I'm going to repurpose. Same thing with all my boxes. I have those that are all in here, and they, most of them have already been repurposed. I'm going to use them again this year. Also, I have tissue paper, and I also have a container here that has all of our name tags in it that um, I'm going to be labeling my gifts with. It has scissors and tape, and all this stays in here so everything's together. It's not messing around and rolling around in the bottom of the box. You can also th keep things in here like ribbon if you want to, and of course you can use as many boxes as you need. But what I've done is I've brought the box to this room. Now, we just happen to be redoing this room, so normally it's not empty. Normally there's furniture in it. But this year, before I put the furniture back or buy a new one, I am going to go ahead and use it as my Santa's workshop. So I'm going to have all my gift wrapping done in here. I'm going to have to all my gifts in here and all my stocking stuffers. That way it stays out of the sight of my kids. Now, if you don't have an extra room like this, you might want to consider maybe a guest room before your guests arrive. Use the top of the bed to wrap gifts and to organize them into uh, bags of who they're belonging to for your stock and stuffers. Or you may have to use your bed bedroom. I know it's not the best idea, but it is an idea. And also, when you're wrapping your gifts, and maybe you're wrapping for your family or your husband's family or for other extended family members, try to remember to wrap your gifts all in the same paper for when you're for each family member. For example, I may do stripes for my husband's family and do stars for mine, or do solids for him and do stars for mine. Just it's an easy way to identify whose presents or who's under the tree. I'm Lorraine Brock helping you get your Christmas and everything organized.